So I wanted to talk today about diets and not about the things that make me crazy like antidepressant lollipops and skinny coffee. Um, I actually wanted to share something with you that I feel had quite a profound impact on one of the ladies um, in our online community um, just a couple of weeks ago um, because she was asking how do you control your eating how do you control um you know the whole binging and portion control and then the diet how do, how do you control it and it kind of made me realize and i did a video on it that this is the whole problem is that we are trying to control it we're trying to control food and this is where i've seen so many diet companies um, create something really, really damaging. So diet companies have set you up to feel like food needs to be restricted in order for you to get the body of your dreams, of your goals. So you have to restrict and analyze it and do this and very specific things in order for you to get the body goals that you're looking for and the results. Well, of course they're firstly of course they are going to say that because it's so restrictive it becomes completely unsustainable and you will fail at it so therefore you'll look for the next quick fix and spend your money on that so it gets you in a nice vicious cycle brilliant thanks diet companies um, but what happens over the long term here is that we start believing that food is the enemy and it's something that we love because it's so good, so delicious um, and sociable and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, it makes, it makes us feel so bad. Um, so we have this duality with food because it's making us, it makes us feel good, but then we feel really guilty and really bad. And that's what our mindset suddenly becomes around food. It's the enemy and something that needs to be controlled. And the thing is, as soon as you start focusing on that feeling, it's the same with anything. As soon as you start focusing on anything like, like that, it will grow and grow and grow. And it's almost like it becomes quite a disease. And I know this through, um, you know, having an eating disorder in my 20s and just uh, the most horrible things I did to my body until like my early 30s. And you're, you're constantly aware, you're constantly obsessing about what you're eating, whether it's the right thing. And it just gets you so uptight, your body is so stressed around it, it becomes the enemy. And my tip for anyone out there is to, I know it's easier said than done, but try to relax a little bit. There is no quick fix. You need to create a calorie deficit by just cutting down on some calories, but also moving your butt. It's about feeling strong and healthy in your body. It's about kind of empowering you that it's not just about the food, right? Because when we just look to the food to give us the body goals that we want and, and the results we want, we it's not very empowering. You're feeling really icky about it and like controlling. Whereas when we're moving our body, it feels good and it feels strong. And, and then you take that complete responsibility of just what you're eating away and you put it into something that's also creating a really healthy strong body for the future and also one of the things about using um moving and using your body is we all know that it is an, one of nature's um antidepressants you know your serotonin levels raise there's endorphins around moving your body so it takes that power away from the food i hope that makes sense um but it was just something that really came to me when I was doing the video like a few weeks ago, that it, we've made food the enemy um, through, you know, all these diets and it's, it's really damaging. So, you know, let's try not to put any food groups off, off limits. You know, the keto diet, the Atkins diet, da -da -da -da, measuring this, measuring that, you know, like I'm all about the macros. I like, you know, we'd love to talk about macros, but at the same time, you know, I don't measure all my little, bits of chicken and all that sort of stuff. I eat intuitively because I know as soon as you start obsessing about it, it just takes the fun out of food and it's to be enjoyed. Um, so no foods are off limits. 
for me personally you know our ancestors developed to be able to process all these different food groups um so they're to be enjoyed anyway i'm rambling a little bit now but i hope that you found that a little bit helpful i'd love to know your thoughts and i am sending you so much love